Well, I, I think the interesting thing about chess is it's been with us for so long, but it also encompasses a multi-generational uh, type of activity. Children like to play it. Uh, you could be middle-aged and play it. You could also be in your uh, seventh and eighth decade and be playing chess. And so for that reason, it's a nice way to bring generations together, in my opinion. But from a medical standpoint, it may have benefits for all those different um, um, age groups. Speaking first for uh, children, um, some of the problems that uh, we as uh, youths go through is making good decisions. And uh, that uh, part of our brain comes from the very, very front part of our brain called the prefrontal cortex. And uh, teenagers in particular have difficulty with making very well-informed decisions, and that's actually where that comes from. Um, it's been shown in studies that because um, you are concentrating so much on the game and trying to make good decisions throughout the game, um, that it actually um, stimulates neurons in that part of the brain. And uh, when you stimulate neurons, they start growing little branches called dendrites. The more dendrites you have, the more connections you have. The more connections you have, the more intricate that part of the brain. So in speaking with the early brain, the prefrontal cortex right in the front, right here, um, that's the part that's underdeveloped. And this is the area where, as a, 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 a teenager, we have an underdeveloped prefrontal cortex. And this is where we um, have um, uh, thoughts of inhibiting impulses. So if there's an impulse to do something that might be, quote unquote, socially not accepted, this area would be the area to tell you, don't do that. And in, in teenagers, it's underdeveloped. In chess, you have to be thinking about not just the next move you're going to make, but the next three moves you're going to make. You also have to remember the moves that your uh, opponent is making. Because as a rule of chess, you cannot request uh, somebody to tell them where somebody moved on last move. So your attention has to be focused. And in addition to that, you must be thinking three steps ahead. Well, if a, a teenager is saying, boy, I'm having fun with my friends, and I'm going to go ahead and today we're having a binge uh, a drinking session, uh, you may not be thinking about, and then I'm going to get in the car and drive home. But if you're thinking three steps ahead, maybe that you would think that. Um, so the idea here is, is that uh, planning and looking forward to the next step uh, is something that um, our early brains are not good at doing. Our older brains are better at that. Some people call that wisdom. Talking about the uh, classic uh, conversation of uh, use it or lose it, um, there have been conflicting studies in the past. Is it beneficial to quote unquote use it, crossword puzzles, or uh, a reading in patients who are suffering from early dementia? At this time, medicine has not come up with a, 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 a chemical answer to diseases like that. There are no quote unquote preventative medicines for Alzheimer's. However, um, learning the game of chess or playing the game of chess has at least shown that over the age of 75 that it may in fact delay the progression of such a thing. The deep part of our brain uh, towards the middle here, this is called the mesial temporal region. This is where our short-term memory comes from. And our short-term memory is very important. Um, when uh, people suffer from Alzheimer's, this area can be affected. And so sometimes people will say, I remember things from a long time ago, but I don't remember things more recently. Okay? Well, in chess, that's not something you're going to be able to get away with. If you are not able to remember recent events, and recent events can be, hey, I, I, what was that move I made five steps ago? That's going to be difficult. So we are exercising our mesial temporal lobe as well. Obviously, more studies need to be uh, made here. But if there's even the chance that that's the case, uh, certainly uh, uh, people have problems taking pills. Learning the game of chess is actually enjoyable. So um, certainly promote uh, that activity.